Oh my gosh, are you so stoked to be Simplifying Radicals today? I bet you are. Okay, let's get started. Now, if you don't remember what the square root is, here's a really quick review. Square root of 16 is 4. Why? Because 4 times itself, 4 times 4 equals 16. So a square root is asking what number multiplied by itself gives me that number. So the square root of 100 is 10 because 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, so that is what a square root is asking. Now, not all numbers have a pretty square root number. You'll get like an ugly fraction. I mean, sorry, not fraction. It could be, but decimal. If you put it in your calculator, you'll get an ugly decimal. Okay, so a lot of times um, we just simplify them as far as we can. Okay, so how do we do this? What you're going to do is it's called prime factorization, but... That sounds like scary. So just, this is what we do. <laughs> We're going to break down this 24. What do I mean by that? Okay, I'm going to find two numbers that multiply to 24. So I think, okay, 2 times 12 equals 24. Then I circle any prime numbers. What's a prime number? 2 is a prime number. Why? Because 1 times 2 is 2 and nothing else. There's no other 2 um, whole numbers that will give me two. Okay. So 12 is not prime because I can break that down further. So two times six gives me 12. Oh, two is prime. Six is not because two times three is six. Okay. Now what we do is we cross out any pairs we have and that comes on the outside. Okay. So I have two twos which means there's a two times two in 24 somewhere because it's two times two times two times three equals 24. That's what it means when we're pri <laughs> doing prime factorization is two times two times two times three gives me 24. Okay. So I can pull out two of those twos, sorry, from two of those twos, I can pull out one, two onto the outside. Okay. If you're like, what the crap is she talking about? Stick with me, okay? So I get to pull a two out. When I pull a two out, there's still a two times three under the radical sign. Two times three gives me six. So this two square roots of six is the square root of 24 simplified, okay? Another way you could think of that is four times six is 24, right? So this and this are really the same thing. Well, the square root of six isn't a pretty number. The square root of four is, it's just two. So I can pull out a two from that four because the square root of four is two. And then I'm still left with the six under there. Okay, so I was doing the same thing, just showing it two different ways. Hopefully one of those clicked, okay? Now what happens here when we've got it as a fraction? Not too bad. We're first going to just simplify this down and then we'll worry about the two. Okay, so prime factorization of 288. Oh, hold on. I like to change colors. Why? I don't know. Just makes it prettier. Okay, so 288. So two numbers that multiply to 288 would be uh, 3 and 96. So three times 96 gives me 288, okay? Um, three is prime, because only one times three gives me three, okay? Now, 96 is not prime. Um, three times 32 gives me 96. I'm gonna circle the three, okay? Um, 32, eight times four gives me 32. Neither of those are prime, so I'll need to break both of them down, okay? So 8 can be 2 times 4. Oh, there's a 2. And 4 can be 2 times 2. Okay, both of those are prime. Now, we can't forget about this 4 over here. 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, what does this mean? This means 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 288, okay? Now I pull out any pairs that I can. So there's two threes. So that means I can pull a three onto the outside of the radical. There's two twos. So I can pull a two on the outside. Those are being multiplied. 
and there's another two twos. <laughs> so I can pull out another two. Okay. What is left is that two. Okay. So under my square root, there is still going to be a two. Now I don't want to leave this as three times two times two. Three times two times two is 12. So now I've got 12 on the outside and two under the radical. Okay. Another way you could have thought of this kind of like over here is two times 144 is 288. So it's like you pulled um, a 12 from that 144 because the square root of 144 is 12. Okay. So that's another way you could have thought of it. Whichever way makes more sense, go with that way. Okay. So the square root of 288, when we simplify it down, it is 12 square roots of two. Remember my square root of 288 was over a two. So this is still over a two. Now, one of the reasons why we like to simplify these down is because look, this can simplify further. Okay. So this is equal to, um, two goes into two once two goes into 12, six times. I almost said twice, six times. So that leaves me with six square roots of two. If you need a quick review on simplifying fractions, I will link a video in the corner, okay? So this went from this scary number to this. This doesn't look as scary, right? So that's why we like to simplify those because there's sometimes ways we can simplify them further, okay? Make them not as scary. And we like less scary math, right? Okay, last one. We're gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to do the prime factorization of this. Okay, so 84 is, oh, another color, guys. Come on, let's do purple. And I'm gonna write it over here, actually. So pretend like that's not there. All right, so 84. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, two times 42 gives me 84. And if you think of two different numbers that at, or sorry, multiply to 84, you didn't pick two and 42. As long as you just keep breaking them down, you'll get the same answer as me. Okay. So over here, if you had done something besides two times 12, um, if you had done three times eight, you would eventually have gotten to the same answer. Okay. So don't, uh, worry if you did different numbers than me. Okay, so 42 can be 6 times 7. 7 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that one. 6 is not. It can be broken down further to 2 times 3. And both of those are prime. So once all your bottom numbers, blah, blah, numbers are circled, you're done. So this means 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 gives me 84. Okay, I'm going to pull out any pairs I can. So there are two twos which means I can pull a two on the outside. That's the only one this time. Okay, but what is still left under my radical? Seven and three. So those are being multiplied. So seven times three gives me 21. Okay, so square root of 84 is two square roots of 21. Okay, if you were to plug this into your calculator and this into your calculator, you'd get the same ugly decimal, okay? So that's my top. Remember, we are still dividing this by two. Well, what happens here? Two over two just gives me one. Those cancel each other out. So then I'm just left with the square root of 21. Woohoo! Okay, quickest side note of your life. Um, just a heads up. Soon, probably, if you haven't already, technically the answers, not really technically, the answers to square roots have a plus or minus. If that's like, what the crap is she talking about? Don't worry, you'll get into it more. But the reason for that is because 10 times 10 gives me 100 and also negative 10 times negative 10 gives me 100. For our purposes today, we didn't really need to talk about that, but just so you know, that's probably in your future. All right, get your homework done, go to bed, have dreams of math that are numbers.